Greetings from the Campbell House. My name's Andy Hahn, and I'm the Executive Director. And even though we're closed, like most everything else, we're gonna give you a tour of some things that are still going on behind the scenes. Today, I'm gonna to show you about all the parts of the museum's collection that wind, things that we need to keep going, even though there's no visitors. So here we go. We're in the library, and the first thing I'm gonna wind for you is actually one of the oldest things in the museum's collection. This tall case clock was made in London in about 1760, and I'm gonna wind it up for you. This clock obviously shows the time, the hour, the minute, the second, the date, and the phase of the moon. This clock, unlike a lot of our other clocks in our collection, is not spring-driven. It's driven by a series of two very heavy weights. It runs for eight days, and as we wind it up, you can see the crank pulls up the weight into uh, the clock. That's why these clocks have tall cases, so that they can hold the weight. And just so you can hear what it sounds like when it strikes on the hour. So on the other side of the library here, from the tall case clock is a music box. This is, a, as you can see, a fairly large Swiss-made uh, music box. Unlike the tall case clock, which is driven by a weight, the music box here is driven by a spring, a large spring in this cylinder. But you wind it up, and you give it a play. And we do have to play this periodically because the spring needs to uh, perform its job if it just sits there and never gets run, it, it weakens the spring. We're now in Mrs. Kyle's bedroom, or a guest bedroom here on the second floor at the Campbell House, and we have this uh, spring-driven Ingram clock. This is a very common type of clock. You would have seen them all over America in the second half of the 19th century. It's got uh, two springs in it. The one I'm winding now is for the chime, and the one uh, second one here is for the movement to keep the pendulum running. This clock strikes once on the half hour and then strikes the hour at the top. So we'll strike three. The last clock I'm gonna show you today is this uh, Gilbert regulator clock. You'd see these clocks all over America in the 19th century. We're in the kitchen now. You'd see them in offices and schools. Uh, very common type of wall clock. It does not chime, so it only has uh, one winding uh, port here to wind for the time. Uh, but this clock also has an added date function. That's what this red hand is pointing to the day of the month, today being the 26th of March. Go. Step on to the parlor. Interestingly enough, there are no clocks in the parlor. Uh, we like to say Campbell House is the place where time stands still, and we look for, forward to having you all down for a visit uh, when we reopen, hopefully later in April. Thanks for watching today, and uh, greetings from the Campbell House. Bye-bye.